Hi guys, this is Dr. Marwa and today I'm going to describe before you a clinical sign called as frog sign. In fact, this patient presented with crazy neck pulsations and super large A waves. So let us analyze the case step by step. This is a 40 year old farmer who presented with complaints of palpitations and breathing difficulty while at a public protest. There's no past history of any cardiac complaints or syncopal episodes, sudden cardiac death and there's a lot of paraphernalia which is attached but I would like to now focus on the actual footage of the patient. Let's look at what the patient was actually going through. Just look at that. I mean, you can see the prominent neck pulsations. You can notice the fluttering of the neck veins occurring in this patient. And we had to actually hook up this patient to a monitor to see what was going on with the heart of this guy so that we could decipher the changes in the JVP of the patient. At the first look, we definitely noticed a very characteristic frog sign. Now, let me explain what it really means and why was this happening in this patient. When we hooked him to the monitor, you can notice a heart rate of 200 and you can notice a narrow complex tachycardia with a mild ST segment depression. That mild segment ST depression was primarily present because of global myocardial ischemia because the heart is going to be beating very, very fast. Well, guys, the ECG of this guy was showing a very characteristic pattern of PSVT, a paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia slash a AV nodal reentrant tachycardia. So we need to analyze why was this AV nodal reentrant tachycardia contributing to development of these prominent neck pulsations so have a look at the diagram that i have made before you next you will notice that in this diagram you can see the three blue dots that are the sn or the av node and bundle of phase and the green is showing a re-entry circuit in fact in patients with paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia there's a re-entry current and this re-entry current guys is going to cause a simultaneous activation of the atria and the ventricles and when both atria and ventricles are going to contract together then you can very well see in the diagram tricuspid valve is going to be closed and the power of the two is going to cause this jugular venous column to really really skyrocket and contribute to super large a wave that is called as cannon a wave slash what is called as a frog sign and canon a wave is something that they regularly ask whether in an entrance exam or whether in a university exam so let us just look at the take home messages guys the very first one is canon a waves or a systolic a wave you can notice the simultaneous activation of the atria and the ventricles and the power of the two is added which actually results in the super large a wave well they can be regular or irregular regular is going to be the case that we discussed that is supraventricular tachycardia whereas when it comes to irregular ones that would be seen with av dissociation when do you have AV dissociation? Atria is firing at a different rate. Ventricles are firing at a different rate. That would be seen with a bradyarrhythmia, that is complete heart block, and a tachyarrhythmia, that's going to be ventricle tachycardia. The details for that are present in the ECG and the arrhythmia section in the main part of the app. And well, while I finished this discussion, I have a question for you guys, which you should be answering without using Google, and that is what is Canon heart sound on auscultation? Please comment in the box below and I shall see you again with another educational video like this. Thank you.